Hey everybody, welcome to Mortgage Today for Friday, August 23rd, 2024, and oh what a day it was. UMBS were in the green, 15 basis points bright and early this morning, which was nice. S&P futures were up 29.75 points. This has been a slow, uneventful week so far in terms of scheduled events, even though we certainly saw some elevated volume and volatility over the past two days. Trading levels continue to grind mostly sideways in the lower middle portion of the range pretty much all week. If we had to pick one wild card event for the week, it would be Powell's Jackson Hole Speed Twist for us today, which the market saw as potential venue to confirm or comment on the certainty and pace of rate cuts in the upcoming Fed meeting. While the speech itself made no comment on the 25 versus 50 basis points, Powell's forcefully assumptive tone, i.e., the time has come for policy to adjust. The direction of travel is clear, is fueling the sharpest bond rally this morning of the week so far. Yesterday, the FOMC minutes indicated that unless something dramatic happens, the Fed is set to cut interest rates at their September meeting. Existing home sales rose 1.3% in July to a seasonally adjusted annual pace of 3.95 million, according to the National Association of Realtors. This snaps the four month losing streak, which started in March on a year-over-year -year basis sales fell 2.5 percent total home housing inventory rose 0.8 percent to 1.33 million units which is up 19.8 percent compared to a year ago median home price rose to 422,600 up 4.2 percent compared to a year ago new home sales rose by more than expected in july increasing 10.6 percent if friday was going to offer an example of scheduled events causing movement in bond market it fell to jackson the whole appearance by powell to do the heavy lifting on that note everything went off in a logically fairly ideal way powell forcefully commented the fed policy shift despite stopping short of giving any sort of indication on the size of the upcoming rate cut in september bonds rallied instantly upon the release of powell's prepared remarks and if the and in the absence of a q a session that was it for today umbs and treasuries hit their best levels a few moments later and both heading out the door at the exact same level so at the end of the day UMBS closed the day up 26 basis points at 100.93. 100.93 puts us in this fresh trading range between some new Fibonacci lines. The ceiling at 101.18 has emerged. The floor is down there at 100.79. So hopefully we can get some more bad news to stay above that. As a completely unrelated news that sounds really interesting, as British researchers have trained a hydro gel, a hydro gel to play the 1970s computer game Pong, improving over time. Researchers at the University of Reading placed a piece of water base gel between two plates of electrodes they administered electric currents representing the paddle and the ball through the gel training it ex training it to the training it to extend the length of time the ball was in play the gel reached its peak skill level after 20 minutes so looking at next week in the bond market, we got some stuff coming in. So Monday, we get durable Gozors and Core CapEx, which are inflation majors. Uh, we got some uh, housing price stuff, which is interesting, but doesn't really move the market. We got some auctions on Wednesday and a Fed speaker. Thursday, jobless claims are always a wild card, but we also get GDP. So we get GDP final sales. We get Core PCE. We get the GDP deflator, which are big things. And then on Friday is the big one, the Core PCE, the inflation measure, as well as some sentiment. So the end of the week is going to be big next week. So get some rest over the weekend and check out some of our common influences and sponsors at wellthatmakesense.com.